What up guys? I'm going to make a quick little uh, what's in your gym bag video. Everyone else has done one, so why not? This is my lovely gym bag here. And let's get started. So this is the inside. It's just a mess basically, so I'm going to just uh, take things out one by one. Uh, I got a rumble roller. This is the smaller one, and it is, hopefully you can see this a bit of a glare, but this is the black rumble roller. It comes in blue and black, and the black one is more firm than the, than the blue rumble roller. And if you guys are thinking about getting one of those, uh, remember it's not your pain tolerance. This is what the, actually the guy that, um, at the rumble roller at the Fit Expo, uh, that sold me, told me about it. Now, it's not necessarily your pain tolerance that you can take on the rumble roller. It's if um, you can eventually relax, in particular the opposite muscle. So let's assume that you are rolling out your quad, but your hamstring is super tight. That's kind of defeating the whole purpose of foam rolling. So it's not your pain tolerance. Uh, okay, right. <laughs> enough with the rumble roller. Next, I got some bootleg uh, wrist straps. These are uh, Vallejo, Vallejo, I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, it's, just, it's probably like my third pair of these and last pair. They, you know, they work well, they, they work fairly decent, but the Velcro just breaks apart every time. And I don't even use them for bench anymore. I was using them for bench because uh, I have uh, fairly weak wrists. But they literally do nothing but give me a headache. So I just kind of keep them in there for other accessories when they do work. Uh, this is impromptu, guys. So anything that's in here, I did not clean. <laughs> I did not clean what's in here. So... Uh, You'll be just as surprised at as I will maybe with some of the things. <laughs> uh, this is the, hold on, let me turn it inside out. This is the, uh, Mar the uh, Mark Bell compression cuffs. And I use this for my left, that one, my left elbow. Uh, just because, hopefully, I'm pretty sure it's not tendonitis, but, um, I have some pain on my left arm from time to time and it it's weird because it goes from my tricep to and the pain travels down to my elbow this is over a period of time so the pain goes tricep elbow I feel it in my forearms then I started feeling it in my biceps even when I was benching um, so I started working out arms more to um, to uh, help that and also wear the compression cuffs and they ended up helping a lot. Uh, next thing I got is, it's not a lacrosse ball, it's actually a trigger point therapy ball and works just the same as the lacrosse ball except I believe it's a little softer. Um, the nice thing about it though is it has this little uh, kind of peak, see it's not fully round, so you can get in um, some trouble areas a little bit easier. Next thing I got is a peanut. So if you guys don't know what this is or don't use this and have some back pain, I do recommend this. Uh, just goes right in between uh, your vertebrae basically and you just roll up and you know back and forth so all you need is some duct tape and two lacrosse balls or well I'm using two tennis balls um, I don't know how people would use lacrosse balls that's painful maybe uh, my pain tolerance isn't that well but um, just goes up and down your uh, Right, right in between your vertebrae. Um, it's basically just pushing 
uh, pushing everything outward, kind of like foam rolling, but around that area. Uh, and more specific, it feels great. Uh, in this pocket, we'll go here and then we'll go back to inside the gym bag. In this pocket, I got my little notepad. Uh, if you know me or have trained with me, you know I'm pretty OCD about things. And I just track uh, all my uh, all my reps and sets in there. Uh, that's just that's just what I do. It's just what I do. <laughs> got some change in there, and then in here I got some some business cards. All right, yeah, yeah. Cause you never know. You never know who needs some help. Okay, next thing I got is just a little band, and I use this to stretch out my um, or do mobility for like shoulders and and uh, yeah, mainly shoulders, shoulders and lats. So, nothing crazy. Nothing too special about this. I don't know what the resistance is on this, but it's pretty decent. Next thing I got is some Versas. So Versa grips, ones you guys have been seeing in the videos the last couple of weeks due to baby skin. <laughs> uh, so I have an elbow sleeve in here. And this is what I was using prior to uh, prior to getting the compression cuffs and it worked actually pretty good but it got to a point uh, hold on one second it got to a point where it was just extremely painful and the reason being is it, it's velcro and I would either tie it too tight or not tie it enough um, actually let me take that back um, I would use the Velcro and then I felt good for a while, but over time, even, um, having it on the, you know, on the furthest point of the Velcro, it would pinch on my forearm, uh, which is scary as hell. Uh, so when I, when I wore this recently before getting the compression cuffs, uh, I would just put, literally put the sleeve on and not even tighten it, but it's still... Uh, it still helped, but it, it was better than nothing. All right, next thing I got is an Elite FTS band. So you could use this for multiple things. You can use this for... Uh, the main thing I use it for is for my hips. Uh, you can stretch your lats with it, triceps. Million great uses for that. Uh, it was one of the better investments I've made uh, coming out of my gym bag. And my handy dandy Inzer belt. So that's the last thing on the inside. Alright. Now let's see what we got on the front pocket. Alright, front pocket. So we got an external charger here. And I just use this for my phone when it's running out of battery or my Mophie case when that's running out of battery. So always just better to be safe than sorry. Uh, got some cash. Baller. Uh, more change. I got some band-aids in there for when the for when our deadlift bar rips my hand and I don't want to get blood all over the bar. So I do that and that usually doesn't stick or stay. So what I do is I use the rubber band and uh, the rubber band, I use the band aid and then I'll tape it and that will keep it in there. Then I have one knee sleeve in here and the other one is upstairs in my room. I don't know why I don't have both in here, but I used to use these uh, when I used to do heavy hack squats. And the funny thing is I wasn't really using them right. But anyway, uh, now 
what I do use them for, which I have not in a long time, is uh, occlusion training uh, for my calf uh, since Achilles surgery. Uh, it's hard for me to get full range of motion. And when I don't, occlusion training helps a ton. So I got that in there. And then the very last thing I got is... I'm not going to take it out because I don't want to make a mess. But it's chalk in a little bag. Luckily, the main gym I go to, they have bowls of chalk. They have a few bowls of chalk, so I don't have to really worry about that. But when I go to, like, 24-hour fitness or if I'm visiting another gym, I just got some backup chalk. That's it, guys. Here's the mess I've made. And that is all that I have in my gym bag. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.